Hello, everybody. It is me, Pacific. Oh, boy. Been checking the private messages. I want to share a couple things with everybody. Number one, let's talk about a gentleman who's a fan of mine. Said he watched a guy suffer a heat stroke, collapsed to the pavement, and he went to attend to his needs, called the authorities, stood by his side. And he said that this is an American male, by the way, he said not one woman stopped and cared. The guy laying crumpled on the ground and American women walk right on by. When I say that American women have become hard and calloused, I'm not joking around. Disgusting. Let me tell you something. When I've been walking and it's a snowy, slushy day, women don't even bother to steer around the puddles. They hit them. But trust me, if you were to hit a puddle and splash that woman, she'd be mad as a wet hen. I don't know what's happened to America that it's okay for people to dish stuff out. But they sure can't take it. I want to focus like a butterfly and a lit briefly on a man attacking a woman with disabilities. <clears throat> Any man anywhere in this world, especially in America, that attacks a woman with disabilities, taunts, teases, harasses, makes crappy sights about her, that's not a man. That's a very messed up, disturbed individual who, again, is a narcissist who likes inflicting pain on people. Let's talk about a comment that was forwarded to me last night <clears throat> by Band User. Band User, why don't you make a video about me instead of asking Lore to make a video about my increased agitation? You are a troll. Why don't you put your face out there and tell me what you got, big boy? Can you do that? It amazes me the level that these pigeons stoop to. And I will continue to call it out. Some of my viewers may be going, come on, Pacific. No. They've declared war on Pacific, and I will accept nothing less than unconditional surrender. Pull your sights down, Lore Master. And it's over. <clears throat> get rid of Kimberly's site. Get rid of my site. Shut up and go away. And you'll cease to be mentioned. I can mention the name Lore Master. Is it simply an ID? I'm not going to be silent. I wasn't bred as an American to be muzzled. When I have freedom of speech that comes first of all from God. Second of all from the Constitution. If you have freedom of speech to sow discord, hate, discontent, malcontent, defamation of character, racial slurs, all kinds of sexualized statement, and somebody's been watching your videos, not me, I don't want to watch them, but several of my viewers have been, per, per, yeah, have been reviewing your videos saying, it's funny, everything he accuses you of, he hates women, he's against women, women have shunned him, women have rejected him, and one of my viewers said that Lore has mommy issues. That becomes very crystal clear. Yeah. While he says that Pacific came from a dysfunctional family, did not have a traditional normal family life, neither did you. <clears throat> my mother... taught me to respect disabled people because I had a disabled sister who died when I was very little. People with disabilities, I have driven on the school buses. When Pacific uses the word retard, that is not a slur against the handicapped. The word retard is a word that I have come to define as Normal people who know what they're supposed to be doing and won't. Not using your turn signal, blowing through stop signs. The other day, a young lady gave me a ride from a business. A very hot-looking woman gave me a ride. Young, had more maturity than my trolls do. Was working a job and told me in the car after I dropped the truck off, a big, dually, flatbed pickup just pulls out the stop sign. She doesn't have one. Pulls out right in front of us and we both went... And the guy gives us that retard look. That's a retard. 
Pacific does not make fun of mentally, physically, emotionally disabled people. I have been around a lot of them. Some of them watch my channel. Any male that would pick on, any female that would pick on, Virginia, Minnesota. The following was communicated to me by a woman in Virginia that overheard this in the Target parking lot in Virginia, Minnesota. A woman gets out of her car. She's going to the store. She's another woman get out of her car with her little daughter and says, Oh, come, I want you to see what a retarded person looks like. Ha, 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 ha. And the woman heard this and says, you've got to be kidding me. It wasn't against the woman who observed this. There was a handicapped person, and the mother was making sport of this in front of her own daughter. People are stupid. I'm going to tell you a story that I've told you before. <clears throat> I worked for a rural bus outfit in a small town in northern Minnesota outside Virginia. And the lady that was training me on one of the routes, we had picked up a very big, heavy guy <clears throat> in a motorized wheelchair, complete with neck brace, everything. Guy couldn't talk, couldn't do anything. He could move the finger control. That's it. After we dropped him off, this pretty woman training me said the following, that guy we just dropped off, I used to know him. He was slender. He had a motorcycle, and he and his girlfriend were taking a ride down the highway. A pickup truck ran a stop sign. He was drunk. The pickup truck driver hit them. Girlfriend was killed instantly. He was paralyzed and literally half destroyed within an inch of his life. When I see people that are able-bodied, endowed with good looks, and blessed with the things God has given them, sit there and make fun of special needs people. There is no words that I can even begin to express to you, my viewers, how utterly deplorable that individual is that makes fun of that. Pacific could be there right in five minutes of getting into my truck. You could be there. If you think you're bulletproof and you're invincible and that you can walk through life without bad things happening to you, you better guess again. Because what we don't see on the Hollywood stage, what we don't see in the American media is the millions of people in this country that sit in nursing homes, sit under 24-hour constant care. They can't do a thing. They can't even operate the computer. All they're doing is taking on food and nourishment and go to sleep and need their diapers changed and their clothes changed, need to be bathed, shaved. Everything has to be done for them. Of course, Hollywood doesn't romanticize that. Instead, we romanticize the narcissistic, self-serving female culture and male culture, which is acting more and more like little girls. That guys think because they're a hip-hop star. They haven't worked a hard dang day in their life, but they're going to get up and spin on their head and spin on their elbow and wow, you're such a rock star. The Bible says, whatever you do to the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me. We're going to be in for a rude awakening on that great day when God rewards us for the good things we've done after becoming a Christian. Or most of us may suffer complete loss. The people that are going to get the highest accolades are not going to be the people with perfect breasts, the people that are going like this all the time. They're not going to be Joel Osteen and Joyce Myers and Marilyn Hickey and Benny Hinn. They're not going to be the loudmouth black girls that are up there on stage shaking their booty and twerking and thinking they're all that on a stick. It ain't going to be the white yuppie girls that married their man for his wallet and walked their designer dog next to their designer stroller in their designer neighborhood. 
It isn't going to be the chica with her breast pushed up and her chin with tattoos all over herself with the whole look thing. It isn't going to be the Hello Kitty girls in Asia spending, spending, spending with their little bags and shopping bags of Hello Kitty crap. It isn't going to be Mother Teresa who taught people how to become a better Buddhist. Read that. Check your history. Mother Teresa was not a Christian woman. She never told people the gospel, ever. It's going to be the people that God has worked through in spite of themselves that are not on the media circuit, that are not on Christian radio. It's going to be people coming out of the darkest alleys and the backwater places and the streets and jungles of countries we've never even heard of that did more for Jesus Christ, more for eternal purposes to the glory of God than any of us Americans have ever even dreamed of. <clears throat> the evidence of a surfacing troll culture which is gaining momentum in this country is all and can all be tied to people with too much time on their hands and affluent culture with people with nothing better to do. These people don't work hard. They're not buying houses. They're not doing anything. They're just sitting there suificating all over the internet. To build your whole life on that and to stand before God and think that you've actually accomplished something because you dragged somebody through the mud is beyond comprehension. That's how blind our culture has become. But when a self-professed man is taking shots at a disabled American woman, I don't care if it's his ex-girlfriend. There's something wrong. Making fun of her speech, her spelling. <clears throat> I looked at Kim's artwork. Her parents posted that people were jealous of it because she was mentally handicapped. And they weren't about to be outdone by somebody who had limitations. It has been said that some people who have severe physical and mental emotional limitations can be really, really outstanding in something else. <clears throat> I looked at Kim's artwork. It's anime. What kind of a guy would put down somebody with disabilities? And if he dated her, why is he attacking her for her disabilities when, while he was dating, he had to know she had disabilities? What is that saying about the guy? It's saying a whole lot. Pacific does not make fun of disabled people. Pacific has had the privilege of having a very, well, let's call it an epiphany, if you will. When that woman told me about that guy that we had just transported on the bus, it hit me. That could happen to me. You're going along, cruising in your vehicle, live and life, going to the beach. Bam! <clears throat> your world could be changed in an instant. <clears throat> People live with a lot of false confidence in this day and age. They think they're going to get up and continue on tomorrow as they did today. Even I know that tonight, Venus Star wrote me from Barbados. They had a series of four or five earthquakes the other day. <clears throat> a year ago, they had a 6.5. She said that uh, looking at one of the seismographical sites, uh, quite a few islands around the globe were having tremors while the mainlands did not. The Bible talks about a time when the, every island will flee from its, when the islands fled from their place talks about an earthquake so great that the cities of the nations fell. That I'm constantly reminded in the midst of the drama of YouTube and in the midst of the getting very focused on the underworld of the internet, <clears throat> that there's a real world that's showing birth pangs. For those that need to know this, Venus Star and I get along. 
She's a dear sister in the Lord, and we don't always see eye to eye. But I told her it'd still be nice to go and see you someday. Real people <clears throat> who have a conviction for God. And I'm going to mention somebody. She may not be aware of this, but this was a troll. At least I thought she was. I had a banner from Facebook, banner from YouTube. She came up with new ideas, messaged me. And has done a complete turnaround and has apologized. She goes, I do listen to you. I do believe in you. I We are hearing you. <clears throat> I'm not going to drop her name because the idiots will harass her. This is a woman who was getting into it with the men on my channel. She's taken notice of the attacks and the stupid, silly garbage going on with Loremaster and his site. And people are more and more speaking out. And it was communicated to me this morning. <clears throat> That the discussion traffic on Loremaster's page is becoming more and more in favor of me and less in favor of him. I haven't made that happen. But praise God. And I have prayed that God would shut this crap down. And I have prayed that God would show this man that he needs to learn a lesson. Because if I go back to people from my past, my grandpa had his problems. But my grandpa never would have gotten involved in this kind of behavior. Our generation doesn't know its place. You got young boys who haven't grown up into manhood, getting on the internet, acting like little girls, little junior high girls, slander, defaming, <clears throat> Interestingly enough, a lot of these satanic, disgusting sites were started and headed up by females, which I was shocked at. And as I talked to one of my viewers in Canada last night, I said, you know, it's very obvious that liberalism is a dangerous threat to all of us. Liberalism encourages freedom of speech, even if it hurts everybody else. And these same people lambaste me for saying the things I say about our culture, but yet they just spew all this venom out of their mouths. It is truly not just not politically correct, but just wrong. Attacking a handicapped girl when her parents make a site saying we are asking for people to stop. We thought by ignoring it, it would go away and it didn't. That's why Pacific stances, I'm on deck, I'm at attention, and I'm facing them all. This is ridiculous. And for bumbling blockhead who wrote me the email, you're very stupid individual. You little stupid number letter, number letter email that I read off and I have a right to do that. You're sending that crap to my inbox and I'm sure you discontinued the account because that's the way you people are. <coughs> Playing your little online demonic games. Disturbed individuals. It's all funny, but the buck's going to stop somewhere. I have no tolerance for people belittling people with disabilities. Calling this woman out, saying she lives in the, uh, basically the welfare housing. Wow. But you dated her. You're putting her down for all this stuff, yet you went out with her. What kind of a moron would do that? What kind of a person would do that? And she dumped you. For somebody who's so-called handicapped... She wasn't handicapped enough to use her mind to say that being involved with you was nothing but a liability. Wow, and you're attacking her for all these things that you should have known about before you dated her. You're a sorry excuse for a boy.
and you're definitely not a man. You're a despicable piece of humanity, as you call me. You hate me because you're not getting publicity like you wanted. If the numbers were to be added up of the actual viewers you took from my channel, they'd be minusculely small. They were people that were banned and shut out anyway for their absolute over-the-top rudeness and F.U. comments. I have nothing to feel remorse for. So I'm going to say it again, Lord Master, take your pages down. Take them down. Get a job, be a productive member of society, and knock it off. You've declared war. You are trolling. You are cyberbullying people. You are harassing people. You are bringing their addresses and locations in to encourage some sort of backlash behavior. And other authorities are now looking at this. Wake up and smell the coffee if you drink that stuff. <clears throat> You're the one that started this. And may I remind the bumbling blockhead who sent me his stupid email. I didn't make the site. I didn't post the site. Loremaster posted the site against Kimberly. Therefore, he is responsible, not me. Loremaster made the harassing, cyberbullying attack on Kimberly. I don't know this woman. I don't need to know this woman. The Pacific talks about a culture of feminism, and I say some very hard, truthful things. The Pacific does not encourage the slander, defamation of, lying about, or encouraging an atmosphere of bullying, hate, vandalism, or attacks like Thormaster does. <clears throat> I'll say it again. The fact that nobody knows Loremaster's first and last name, he's very careful to guard that. But unfortunately, we're getting closer to finding out who and where this guy lives. It's only a matter of time. Because if the police want to take this seriously, they can trace through the server and find this clown. We'll see what happens with that. People think they can do whatever they want in the name of freedom. But your freedom... What you think you can do could cost you. Pacific has made no threats on anybody. Pacific has made no attacks on anybody in context of encouraging bullying, physical, emotional, psychological abuse, sexual abuse, any of that. But you on your site say things about me that are beyond ridiculous. You're drawing attention to yourself, and I'm going to give it to you. Complete with patrol cars and authorities and YouTube broadcasting, drawing attention to trolls so that anybody who gets on here, whether it's teenagers, girls, boys, who are the victim of cyberbullying, they can learn something from this. Number one, don't believe the things your accusers say. The Bible says that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. The trolls are the same way. You this, you this, you this. Trolls don't show themselves. You need to remind Satan of something. You said you shall be like the Most High. That was the biggest unforgivable offense because you can't even get salvation through Jesus, Satan. Shut up. Same with trolls. Even if they have a nugget of truth, you can discredit what they say. They're not going to show their faces. They're not going to post their addresses and show photos of what they drive. They just do that to the rest of the people they're attacking. Their goal <clears throat> is simply to cause havoc, to cause destructive, bullying behavior. And why do these people do this? Because they were rejected and bullied and they're getting revenge on people who had nothing to do with their background. They're just firing back, lashing out because of their insecurities their inability to grow up and to mature. And I'm going to tell every one of my viewers, if you're the subject of bullying cyber attacks, call your authorities, turn the crap in. There may be nothing you can do. There may be something you can do. <clears throat> Harassing a woman 
in name, photos, college, all the information about her, putting it out on site, and some idiot writes me that email, the idiot is none other than somebody from his own camp. Maybe they're worried now. Maybe they're scared. Oh my gosh, Civic drew attention to this. I'm going to draw attention to it. If you didn't want attention drawn to it, you shouldn't have attacked me and had the link right next to mine, homeboy. And if you didn't want anybody to know about it, maybe you shouldn't have posted it on social media, dumb dumb. <clears throat> You're not the smartest duck in the pond. Not at all. I've asked you to quit. I've asked you to stop. I've tried to be decent about it. I've tried to be appealing to a sense of reason, which clearly you do not have. You're no different than a Satan worshiper. You're no different than a vandal or a graffiti artist or a drug dealer. You don't care about anybody. Your only goal and end result is to cause people angst. You get off on that. You're sitting there putting me down for my admission of my transparency. While I'm learning more about you that you've never told us. You have mommy issues. You have weight issues. You have insecurity issues. You're not the tough guy you pretend you are. You can't get a decent job. A bouncer of a bar is not the highest calling. You could not drive a school bus. You couldn't even get a CDL and drive a school bus. You probably couldn't pass background checks. You probably don't have a good traffic driving record. I don't know. Just my speculation based on the way you're behaving. <clears throat> You've made a lot of comments about me, and it's really telling that you're way more disturbed than I am. This is my blog, this is my forum, this is my channel, and it bothers you that I'm here. You're disturbed, not me. You thought you could bring the channel down, you thought you could get me to stop discussing my views while you go underground and on these sites that aren't even based in the United States. The girl's parents have been asking and pleading for people to stop this, and you as an American male are talking crap about me and talking crap about a girl and not caring about her family. That's somebody's daughter, idiot. What if somebody came after your mother or your father or your sister or your brother if you have them? Maybe you don't care. But you might want to think that when you're attacking somebody's daughter, you're over the top, dude. <clears throat> Pacific isn't going to cause anybody to commit suicide. But there's some people that are causing such destruction that maybe need to commit suicide. I, I don't like this stuff. I don't like what these people are doing. And upright people don't like it either. I can't underscore enough how chickenly cowardly you guys are to do all this crap behind the scenes. <clears throat> I know this much, because I've lived longer than you have, Lore Master. What goes around comes around. One day you're going to start taking on somebody and they're going to say, you know what, I don't care about laws. I'm going to go get this guy. You don't have to worry about me getting vengeance. Through the law, yes. Band user, you're an idiot. You're a scum bucket. You're a coward. Your name is telling. Why don't you make a video with your face on it? You know what? You have nothing to say. You don't have a channel. You don't have a forum. You're a troll. Faceless. Egging on trolls to continue more hate. Band user, what is wrong with your head? Why don't you look at the site that he made against that young lady? And why don't you talk about how right that is? You people don't have a brain. You're demented and twisted and psychotic. <clears throat> 
Band user, why don't you make a video? Go out with your five seconds of fame and say what a piece of garbage I am. But I don't think you have one ounce of intellectualism within your very fiber. You, you think I'm supposed to be in fear if Lore makes a video? Lore's being very careful not to make a video. He got shut down once. He doesn't want to lose his YouTube again. And even if Lore made a video, what does he have to say? Just keep digging himself a deeper hole? For a coward to hide on a site that has a disclaimer. And let me tell my viewers what's on that site. It has a disclaimer that says. This is satire. It's not satire when you're posting locations, addresses, birthdays, names. That's not satire. But there's a section on that stupid Encyclopedia Dramatica that says, are you offended? And you click on it, it shows horrific pictures of mutilated babies, mutilated genitals, blood, gore, babies with diseases all over them. That's the kind of person, lore master, band user, and all these other people that are flocking around them like flies on fresh, steamy dog poo on a winter day. Except there's no flies in winter. That's all it is. Sewage. Band user, maybe you need to get a life and go get a job and get off the internet. You're spending way too much time here focusing on me. And that's all you can focus on. That's all you guys can fixate on. Because you get off on drawing attention to yourself in a negative way. You can't get positive attention, so now you're going to get it negatively. Like kids acting up in a daycare center. Any psychologist would come in and analyze you guys and say you guys need to be committed. Making fun of disabled women when the family, the family, the mother and the family, the relatives have implored you guys to stop it. <laughs> Do you know what the definition of a man is? If my grandpa were alive, he'd run you up the American flagpole and leave you there after he shanghaied you. <clears throat> I have my problems, but I grew up with some men back then that would never tolerate the kind of stuff today's so-called American wussified girly boy males are doing. Getting on the internet. <laughs> I mean, that is messed up. Am I agitated, band user? You betcha. You're an idiot. Why don't we post your address and pictures of your vehicle and post all this stuff about you? We'll see if you get agitated. It's easy to talk bullcrap on the internet, but I know the human heart. I know my own and I know others. You're very careful not to post your picture, your address, or videos. I wonder why. Because maybe you're this big? Maybe you're not so handsome? All these people that criticize my looks don't show their faces. Do you notice that? Should I refrain from saying one of the facts I learned that a lot of people that are trolls are quite ugly looking physically? And that's why they don't post their face. They're lashing out. That most trolls on the internet were bullied as a kid and they're using the internet as a forum to get vengeance for something that happened 20, 30, 40 years ago. Wow. And it's only a handful of you scallywag, swashbuckling, trollistic pirates that try to board my liner. You're just a handful. My fan base is bigger than you. I try to understand why people get up in the morning and like darkness so much that they get off on this. And I answered my own question. 
because they love darkness rather than light. They're not after truth. They're not after truth at all. The parents of Kim have a site called Real Truth. Isn't that interesting? My channel's about truth. These parents want truth. And what is Loremaster? The father of lies. His master is Satan, the father of lies, darkness, profanity. Oh, I've used profanity, but his whole page is laced with it. Racism, which is satanic. The guy is showing all of us whose master is his. And it doesn't seem to phase him at all. But if you listen to his videos, I don't want to die alone. You're going to die alone. You're going to die lost and in the lake of fire, little boy. And you can avoid that. You're simply manifesting all the signs of somebody who's got an issue with God. And then you attack a girl that broke up with you. She was smart to do that. <clears throat> she was smart to dump your sorry but by the wayside and your manly response is to attack a woman with disabilities that's not a man that's a despicable human being I don't care if you're offended you have offended me you've offended my viewers you've offended a whole lot of people the damage you're doing on the internet far exceeds any damage I've ever done in my entire life to any one or more people. Congratulations. You get an award for being a piece of darkness. Disturbed individual. Let me know when you're done, buddy. Let me know when you take your pages down and grow up. Let me know. In the meantime, expect further commentary and expect me to bring out more as details unfold. Because I'm not going to shrink back. You've declared war on me. I didn't declare war on you. I thought you went away last summer over Club Butthurt with the MGTOW. And I'm going to say something about MGTOW. <clears throat> I never attacked MGTOW. <clears throat> I defended them. And then for some reason they came after me. I even did a video defending them, and they praised me for that. But then one day they decided to come after me because of my continued rant about certain things. And yet, if you listen to men or people, and you listen to I men or people find out later that it's Loremaster, and you start looking at the videos, he's downing women too, constantly. The difference between me and him is I don't believe in going my own way. And I believe there's some good women out there. But a picture begins to emerge while they turn around and say that I can't get a girlfriend and I'll die alone. I've actually had more dates in the last year than Loremaster has. I, I, I'm pretty confident of that. And they're not the kind of girls I want to marry and get serious with because they're flakes. But I still have girls interested. <clears throat> I went into a restaurant to grab a quick bite to eat, which I'm allowed to do on my job. And one of the ladies smiled at me and continued to make eye contact at me. And I'm like, she's looking at me. She took my order, and then she stood there and stared and grinned, and I grinned back, and we had that awkward moment. It's like, no way. Who knows? But not all is lost. But I'll be damned if I'm going to be silent about a so-called man who needs to go on a diet and learn some manners, couth, respect, ethics, and an intellect. Somebody's wife watched your channel last night, Lore Master. One of my fans, excuse me, girlfriend. He was way more articulate than you. Laughed. Says this guy thinks he's an intellectual. What a joke. You're a legend in your own mind. You're a narcissist. You're a sadist. You're Machiavellian. You've got the Prince Syndrome. And it pisses you off when somebody speaks the truth that you so desperately need to hear. Your little sight against me is nothing but a bunch of 
babies running through a daycare center, taking their diapers off and flinging them all over the place with poop and fecal matter hitting the walls and the ceiling fan. That's, that's all it is. Your page is a joke. There's no intellectualism in it. Believe me, I've thought of making a page taking clips of your videos. I know somebody who could do it for me. And if I asked them to do it, they could do it, send it to me and I'll take the credit for it so that they're not exposed. Be very easy to do, but I thought, no, I'm not going to stoop to that. I don't play that way. If any page is made against you, it'll have nothing to do with me. You're the one causing the harassing. My fans aren't doing it. Your troll base is doing it. You might want to think about that. But <clears throat> I can authoritatively with confidence speak to my fans. Say anybody who's dogging a disabled woman <clears throat> the way you are. When the family has asked you to quit it and ask the cyber bullies to stop and you still won't. And you keep that page up. Don't you dare tell me you're an American male because you're not. If I had to go to war to fight for this country, I would not die for people like you. If I was an enlisted general and you were one of my soldiers, I'd put you on the front lines first. Say, here, you go out there where the battle's the fiercest. We'll see what you're made of. <clears throat> I have no respect for you. You're worse than a dog. People can say all they want. I need to have the love of Jesus. I do have the love of Jesus. But I don't have a lot of love for you. You have offended me. You have irritated me. And yes, I have been agitated. But I'm also gathering steam now. And other people are watching and other people are weighing in and people are flooding Encyclopedia Dramatica with... with uh, with their complaints now because of this woman and me and they're, they've had enough. And if the person from Encyclopedia Dramatica hears me, you might want to get a life. If that's the best you can do is make a site like that and call it satire and you allow people to post addresses, locations, specific locations, pictures of people and lie and slander. That's not satire. That's lying. I know that's a nice, convenient, liberal term that we've got our little disclaimer that is unethical as hell. People can find fault with my Christian walk all they want. I've admitted over and over who I am and who I'm not. But the people posting this trash on your sites aren't admitting who they are. They're not putting their addresses and pictures of their vehicles. And they're dragging all kinds of crap into this that just is unethical at best. <clears throat> Lord Master, you don't have a right to criticize anything about me. You're worse than me by a thousand percent. You're not Christian. You're not Christ-like. You're not even a good, moral, upright human being. You're contributing absolutely no productive good to the whole of American society. You're contributing to a sewer rat gangster culture that encourages mayhem, chaos, disrespect, violence, that you would continue to be part of something that encourages this young woman to have to go to the ER. You're not a man. That Pacific would never encourage, even against my worst female enemies, I don't encourage violence against women. Sounds to me like you need to get over your butt hurt that she broke you up. Sounds to me like you need to look in the mirror and realize that if this girl as bad as you paint a picture of her, <clears throat> sounds like she's got some scruples way more than you that she dumped you. And you're attacking this woman, making fun of her disabilities, saying she's Japanese, putting her down on racial levels, implying that she has sex with animals. What is wrong with you, boy? <clears throat> As Foghorn Leghorn would say. Not much in that noggin of his. You want attention, Lore? I'll give it to you. Your site was looked at by the police today. So, 
I hope if you have any conscience, any conviction, that you would stop mounting these attacks with lies and slander and personal information <clears throat> and painting a picture that is not. When I said I would never want to be friends with a guy like you, I wasn't kidding. You're not somebody I'd be comfortable around. Because the difference between me and you is I don't walk around talking tough. <clears throat> I don't. I'm more like a mountain lion. I like to run around up in the hills. And do my own thing, mind my own business. But when somebody keeps cornering me and keeps coming at me, I'm the kind of a guy that will spring forward. And <laughs> I'm going to defend myself. <clears throat> You're the one being offensive. I've been defensive. But I'm done being defensive. You attack this woman, I don't care who she is. She's an American woman, and you're attacking and stalking and harassing her. You bet I'm going to speak out. <clears throat> Pacific can talk about feminism and talk about the ugly aspect of things I don't like in American female culture, but I don't like that stuff that a man, a so-called man, is attacking a woman. You're an idiot. <clears throat> you're a loser with a capital L. She dumped your butt and you're a loser whiny baby, just like my video, crying like a baby because somebody dumped you and didn't want you. And your only defense, the best way you can carry yourself is to slander, lie, debase, and some idiot from your camp writes me and says, this woman can commit suicide because any type search, yeah, type in her name and see all the stuff on her. <clears throat> That her own parents made a page asking people to stop the cyberbullying. I rest my case. The verdict is in. You're guilty as hell. You're in the wrong, not me. And for Mr. Bumbling email writer that can't even give a reasonable email address and sign his or her own name to it, mate, you're an idiot. Don't write my inbox again. Am I making myself crystal? This is Pacific signing off. Bye-bye.